Hey, 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 y'all. Thanks for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 4 Days World, where we get down. Okay? We get down, we get down. And I am coming to you with the who, what, when, where, and why. Lastly, how in the entertainment celebrity world of living. Yes, 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 yes. Got to tell y'all who, what, the individual individual we're going to be going through talking with through this video hey child hey it's um a uh, og from when the season had got started with the real housewives of atlanta yes we are talking about rebranding rebringing back and all this information was given to me by media takeout y'all know they doing better with their works their media news, their social media news. Yes, they're doing much better with bringing a hot piping tea or alcohol to you. You and you. Okay? And I'm just the person, the mediator between both facilitates or uh, entities. And I'm giving it all to you on my platform, how I see it with my opinion attached to it. Just a little bit because you know what I put out might not be so true or may it may not be true at all but again it might be okay it's just for you to take part of and live it and digest it and spit it out and comment back to me comment back to me if you will but we're talking about none other than Keith Sweats the R&B crooner ex-wife and he's the baby daddy of her two sons Hey, no other than Lisa Wu Hardwell. Okay, I don't know why she really kept her last name. I think they are divorced, but we ain't even going to tear her on that subject. She's single now. All right. Oh, at least I think she is. Okay, fact checkers, if y'all want to clarify for me, is she single or not? Okay, it's not really relevant because we're talking about her rejoining the cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, like I said, we get it from Media Takeout News and a journalist by the name of London, a boy, a bohe, or something like that. I may be tearing up the person's last name, but we're just going to say London. Okay, they put it out on August 31st, and we're giving it to you on my platform, Dave Chanel's 4 Days World. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Like my videos as well. Do it simultaneously if you must, okay? But do it, all right? The article reads, Lisa Wu Hartwell rejoins Real Housewives of Atlanta. The exclusive. And I think she was living in L.A. when she was doing some other things, trying to act and all this kind of stuff. I don't know if she has moved back to Atlanta or not, but it is what it is. She's probably moved back for this taping, of course. But when you don't have really small kids, you can up and go and pull it up, uh, place it down, however you see fit. Okay, but it goes in to say Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta is bringing back one of its original cast members, Lisa Wu Hartwell. Media takeout news have been hearing for months that Bravo was considering bringing back the former housewife. And now it's a reality. Someone snitched to them, they snitched to me, and I'm breaking it out on my platform, giving it to you. All right. You do your investigative work. I'm just the person that put it out. Okay. Whether it's right or wrong, whether it's true or not. Okay. Get with it. Anyway, the, uh, going back to the article, it says, Two nights ago, the Bravo cameras were filming at an event with Marlo Hampton and Tanya Sands and Lisa. Yes, Lisa popped up for the filming. We can confirm that the three ladies all appeared on camera but participated in the scene. Okay. It's not clear yet. Or it's, yet, it's not yet clear whether Bravo intends on bringing Lisa back for a full-time or a part-time role on the show. But we can tell you that so far, production is not happy with the footage that they've been getting all summer. One source is in production told us that all the existing storylines are boring. Boring! Okay. Uh, True Entertainment. Bravo. True entertainment that cuts their checks. They ain't paying them for no happy life. They paying them for drama feel. Bring it each and every way you can, but bring it. So, they're going to have to bring it, y'all. Or they're going to get some cuts in pay. 
All right. The ratings go down. They paychecks go down. This is is how it is. Even on regular jobs, the, if the uh, quota is not met or it's not exceeding, people get slashed. Okay. A commodity. Collateral damage. That's how they see us. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, because I can't tear it too long. It says, one top producer with the show told Media Takeout News, we're trying a lot of different things this season, including bringing back old favorites like Lisa. Here are pics of Lisa looking lovely with Marlo and Tanya. If you go on to the, I guess, the website, uh, you can see the pretty pictures of her and Marlo Hampton in her little do bebop bop dress and them big ass earrings. Oh, with the star on it. Okay, what are you trying to say, Marlo? What are you trying to say, girl? What are you trying to say, say, say? Okay, but well, Lisa is always elegant elegantly dressed and shows her fashion off. Her Marlo's no fashion to strangers, but sometimes she gets to look like a little street walker sometimes. It just is what it is, and she's giving me that tease right now. A black dress, very short, short miniskirt, meaning if she tipped over a little bit to pick up a napkin off the floor, you will see all of the derriere. Okay, the derriere. All right, all right. Moving on. Uh, very nice photos if you care to partake. And I don't know what the heck uh, Tanya Sam's look like. She gets what she got going on. Are they at a costume party? I just don't understand. But going back to the article, it says Lisa's official Bravo bio reads, living a fast paced life as a mother of three. Lisa's never ending energy keeps her on the move with her real estate business. Slowing down because of the economy, her entrepreneurial spirit kicks in and she decides to launch a clothing line, Closet Freak. To her surprise, she finds her biological clock is ticking and debates, debates expanding her family by having another baby. But Ed's NFL career might throw a wrench in the plans. Lisa is thrown into the midst of all the drama between the other housewives as old rumors resurface. So... That's just is what it is, because I really heard back in the day when she was trying to do something in Hollywood on a show. I don't know if it was Hip Hop Hollywood. I don't know which one it was, but she was on another reality show. People that remember, uh, refresh my memory uh, on what show she was on. I think Living in L.A. or something. It was, I think Carlos King was producing that one as well. Not really sure, but anyway, it was an epic fail. And anyway, uh, she, it didn't make her look good as well. But it was seeming that her and Ed was having a divorce or going through divorce issues. But evidently, they must have worked it out because she's still carrying his last name, uh, which is not really unheard of because a lot of people um, still divorce, but they keep their married name for some reason. Okay. And all the reasoning is on their behalf or how they see them being without a will their ex-partner's uh, name or not, okay? Sometimes they just don't want to give it up. They want to be attached, especially if it's in the celebrity world. They want to be among the who's who still. But it just depends on what society role you played in and whether they're going to be willing to keep you in their circle since you're no longer attached to whomever that is also a big wheel in the entertainment field. Just thought I'd bring that out. But I'm glad to see Lisa come back, a friend of the friend, part-time or full-time. She just added a little class to the show. I don't know. Maybe it's her Asian persuasion, her looks, how she handles things. I don't know, because she's a kick-ass person, too. I can see her rolling with Candy Burrs. Um, and maybe a little bit of Kenya more, but, you know, sometimes when twirl, twirl, Squirrel uh, gets kind of intimidated. She kind of go off the map and want to pick fights, you know, and it's for the negative. It's always for the negative. I don't know why Kenya can't just sit up there, play her part and, and do her thing and be secure in whatever she's saying and doing around the people that are also trying to elevate as well. But it just seems like she just wants to. If you're not giving her the camera time like Nene, she's going to pick a fight with you so she can have camera time. But I know Lisa Wu. I know, I know she can't handle it because she kind of reminds me of Chili or TLC <laughs> with a little t bars like them hands, them hands. But you know, anybody got time to be trying to go to jail, get no bail money, and all this, that, and the third. Okay, that can come with negative activity. Talk to Portia; she knows all about it. And of course, Nene can put her staple on it as well. But anyway, that's all I have for media takeout news. 
bringing by. We're having lunch together and they dropping that tea on me to spill out to you all. Again, that was my who, what, when, where, and why. But lastly, how the celebrity entertainment world gets down. All right. But y'all remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's grow together. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. And definitely thank you for putting in your comments. They truly are appreciated, whether they're tearing me down or uplifting me either or. It makes me stronger and I keep pushing regardless of what negativity I do get. All right, but y'all be blessed. I'll see you later on, more than likely for another video uh, or two, since it is a long holiday. I have nothing but time on my hands, okay? Since you've been away, boy, I ain't got no plan. No, 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 no. And my Mary J. J. And my Mary J. singing voice, okay? Y'all be blessed. I'll see you next video. Deuces.